Welcome to the Vodacall Avaya 1408 end user training video. Our hope here is to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you've ever had. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Avaya Quick User Guide for your phone and the Voicemail User Guide. If you don't have them, they can always be found at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the Quick User Guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like transfer, conference, voicemail setup, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving calls around the office. These are also the things that, if not practiced, can have an effect on your customer and client experience when calling you. So let's practice together. But first, let's get our mailbox set up. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the Vodacall Basic Voicemail Guide. The first time you log in, we ask that you dial intercom 777 instead of using the Messages button. This will set up your mailbox. The system will then ask for an extension number and password. Your default password will be pound. Welcome to Avaya IP Office. For help at any time, press star H. Please enter extension and pound key. Enter password and pound key. Please enter new password and pound key. Your new password should be between 4 and 15 digits. Re-enter password and pound key. Changed. As you use Avaya IP Office, your name will be included in system announcements that you and other people will hear. Please speak your name. After speaking your name, press 1 again. Demo phone. Demo phone. To re-record your name, press 1. To approve, press pound. Demo phone. No new messages. To get messages, press 2. To administer personal greetings, press 3. For all intents and purposes, your mailbox is now set up. Callers will hear. Demo phone. Is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. Should you want to record a personalized greeting, please continue on to the additional steps in your guide by pressing 3. Your mailbox is now set up and you're ready to make your first call. To place an internal call, press either of your intercom buttons and dial the extension number you're trying to reach. Or you can dial star and then the extension number to page the user's phone. To hang up the call, either hit speakerphone or press the drop key. Now we'll intercom using paging. After the beeps, you'll be able to start speaking to the person immediately. To make an external call, simply start dialing the number to use the speakerphone or lift the handset first and begin to dial. This will give you the first available line. To select a line, simply choose it by pressing the button of your lines. In this case, we chose line one. Once connected to a call, you can either drop it or hang up the speakerphone or place down the handset to end the call. In order to place the call on hold, press the red hold key. You'll see that you now have that call on hold and the light is flashing. To retrieve that call, press the line. To answer a call, when a call rings into your phone, you have a few options. To answer the phone, simply lift the handset or look to the screen and use one of the soft keys available to you. When the call comes in, you hear the ringing. You see in this case, it's an intercom call coming in. I can lift the handset and take the call or press my arrow keys. This allows me to send the call to voicemail or ignore. When you're on a call and a second call comes in, you will hear a slight ring on your phone and the light next to the button will flash. In this case, the call is coming in on intercom rather than on a line. We will place the first call on hold and answer the second call. You will now see that we're on this call and this call is flashing to show it's on hold. If we wanted to take this second call, we could place it on hold, return to our first call, tell the person that we'll call them back shortly, hang up by pressing drop or placing the handset down or hitting the speaker button and return to the first call. Now let's review transferring a call. There are two ways to transfer a call. 
There's a blind transfer, which sends the call to the party unannounced. And there's an assisted transfer, where you announce the call. First, let's do a blind transfer. The first call comes in, and we answer the call. We press our transfer key, dial the extension that the call is for, and either hang up or hit complete. That call has now gone from our phone and has been transferred to the other parties. Now let's do an assisted transfer call. First call comes in, we answer it, decide it's for someone else, press transfer, dial their extension number. If they choose to take the call, we can either press transfer, or if we press our arrow keys, we can press complete. If they tell you they wouldn't like to take the call, then you can press cancel. That returns us to the first party. We then have the option to send that call to somebody's voicemail. To do that, press the messages key, dial the extension number, and press select. That call has now gone to the person's voicemail. Now let's review making a conference call. You can have two other internal parties besides yourself on the call, as well as two external callers. Once you have the first party on the line, you will press the conference key, and this will place the first call on hold and allow you to make another call. First call comes in from someone in the office. You answer it. You then press conference. It will give you intercom dial tone by default. If you want a line, choose an available line, and then dial the phone number that you wish to call. Once you have that person on the call, you can let them know you're going to conference them in and press conference again. You'll now see those calls are conferenced. You get conference 100 and you have flashing light. To add another person to the call, simply repeat the process. Press conference. In this case, we will dial an internal extension. We now have this person on the phone. We press conference again and it pulls everybody together. You'll see here that I have a few options. The details option gives me the ability to see all the people on the call using my arrow keys and scrolling through them. In this case, John is actually this phone. So I'm not going to drop this call, but I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to drop Ringo. I choose to drop. You'll see that that person has now gone from the call. I also have the ability to mute somebody. So if somebody's being too loud, I can choose to mute them. I can also drop myself from the call. I've dropped myself from the call, but you can see it's still happening here as this light is still lit up. Now let's look at the buttons on your phone. Here you have your messages button. Your messages button takes you to something called visual voicemail. When we first set up your voicemail box, we ask you to access voicemail by dialing intercom 777. That walks you through the setup process. Visual voicemail gives you the ability to listen to messages and shows you your new, old, and saved messages. If you hit your down arrow key, you get your message option. This allows you to record a message and send it to somebody. Hit your down arrow key again, this gives you the ability to adjust your greetings, re-record your name, set your password, or turn your voicemail on and off. We recommend that unless your administrator recommends it to you, you do not turn your voicemail off. To return to your main screen, press your phone or exit button. That will return you to any screen from any other screen that you're on. As you move through here, you have a dial pad to access certain features. We'll use some of those now. Here's your menu button. When you press menu, you've got your ability to adjust your screens and sounds, some call settings, some applications, and some more advanced features. If I hit exit, that will return me to the main screen, or I can hit my phone exit button. Here I have my contacts. This gets me to my directories. This is my all directory. If I go right or left based on the arrows, I can get to my personal directory, my external directory, or my user directory. My users gives me all the users inside the office. External is a list of external phone numbers common to all phones. Personal are speed dials only stored on my phone. And then my all directory. To access any of the numbers stored in there, hit my down arrow key and I can begin to select through them. Hit my phone exit screen to return. When I hit my call log button, you'll see that it's red now. That lets me know that there are calls that have been logged since the last time I checked it. I press the button, and here I have a list of all the calls that I've received. I can go through them, store details, 
and I can actually add them to my contacts. Phone exit to return. When I hit redial, I get a list of all the calls I've made recently. I can scroll through those, I can look at the details on what time I made that phone call, and I can hit call to call that person. Below my redial is my speakerphone, which turns my speakerphone on and off. My mute, which mutes my speakerphone, my handset, or my headset. Just to the right of my volume controls, which give me the ability to adjust my ringer, adjust my handset volume if I'm on the handset, or my speakerphone volume if I'm on speaker. I also have my headset button to turn my headset on and off. Above that, I've got my red hold button, my conference button, my transfer button, and my drop button that we discussed. The remaining buttons on your phone are your programmable buttons. The first two will always be your intercom, followed by your lines. Any other buttons remaining can be programmed by your administrator. In this case, we have a do not disturb button and an all page button. If you were to press the all page button, you would hear a beep and it would page all the phones inside the phone system. The last button is your message waiting indicator that will flash red if you have a message waiting. We hope you have enjoyed the Vota Call Avaya end user training. We thank you for watching. If you need anything further, you can always reach us at support.vodacall.com. Thank you.